and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Usi Peskweya. Thank you for joining me again today. So today I'll be showing you my entertainment slash hosting essentials and basically what I have in my kitchen when I need to host. As you might know from the previous video, I think the cheese board video, when I was telling you guys that I love hosting, I love entertaining friends and family. And sometimes it doesn't mean that you have to have the best uh, dishes best platters, best, you know, uh, uh, things to entertain. It's just how you put your things together. But today I'll just be showing you the things that I have in my kitchen entertainment wise and uh, all of that. So you're basically getting a sneak peek of uh, my collection. <laughs> so it's stuff that you'll be seeing throughout when I do my videos here in the house. We're going to get started with uh, the appetizers. Appetizers are basically the food that you'll have out when your guests arrive, whatever finger foods, where you have your cheese boards, your um, croissants, uh, fruit platters, your muffins, or whatever that you choose to have. So I have this lovely three-piece set that I adore with all of my heart. I'll be bringing in pieces now. I have the smallest one. The smallest one is sometimes when I want to serve one person and it's something that's uh, a small serving where I'll have maybe a muffin and I'll have the like, grapes or whatever on the side. I totally love these. And um, just to say, I started with plain whites. Why plain whites? Because it's easy to mix and match with anything in the house and uh, it doesn't come off as a reputation as well. So if you've had your friends, let's say you had your friends last week or you had them a month ago, so you're not worried that they're going to see the same thing every time you entertain. So this one, I think you saw the last video where I did that whole fruit thing where I had my grapefruit, lemon, mint and all of that for the for the gin station. So you can use it so versatile. You can use it for your appetizers or for your drink station. And sometimes I use them on uh, main dinners. Let's say if I'm doing a fish or something like that, like with a big one, I'll still do a fish. Like if it's a fish fry or something, I can still serve that on this where I'll have my fish in the middle and then I'll have whatever uh, salad or greenery just to make the plate appetizing basically. So this I love as well. This I definitely use as a cheese uh, platter as well. So sometimes if I don't want to use the board, I just want to change it up, I use this. If I have fruits that I want to serve, I use this. So it, I can use it for anything and everything. It's always a good one. So if sometimes you can't get the three-piece set and you just want one, I think go for the biggest one because you can do so many things with it. And I got these from Mr. Price Home and I think they still have these because I was looking online recently and I saw something like this. So go out and check it. Okay. I will move over to my cheese board. You've met my cheese board already. I refer to my cheese board like it's a human being because I love it so, so, so much. Okay, I love this. This is made out of bamboo. What I love about it, you can mix it with anything on your table. And it's so hard, it's got weight. So it, you know, it shows such elegance and such class. And I think, you know, my knives as well. I've showed you the knives. It comes with a set of four knives. Cheese board knives, cheese knives, sorry. So it comes with a set of the different knives with the um, fork, with the cutter, and one of something like, if you call it like a preserved spoon as well, this is the one that you use to pick up and just paste on your cracker or whatever you, you, you paste it on. Yeah, so I love this one very much. What I've noticed as well about uh, the cheese board, so when you are using it, try and not put anything that's like great, like pomegranates or strawberries directly on it, because I noticed that the last time I used it, it got stained from that. But it's a lovely bike. Check it out, it's also from Mr. Price. Oh. And then I have these little canapé dishes. I love these so, so, so much because you can put anything. Let's say you're doing a muffin station, for instance, like I showed you in the big platter. So you'd have your cheese, uh, your butter, and your uh, jam. And then you just have these there, you pour them there, and you have your muffins, or you have your uh, crackers, or whatever you have there. And then these I love so much. These are preserved spoons or preserved knives. Then you would use those to butter whatever you are doing. 
okay what i love about these as well if you don't have oh sorry then if you don't have a cheese knives yet you can buy a set of these they come in a set it's four of them you can get them in mr price home i've got a lot of mr price home i love 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 mr price home um because the things are very much affordable and it's still very much stylish stuff so you get these in a set of four okay and then I have my baby here that I've had for a number of years. I think if you've been to my house, you've seen this little one. Um, I use it a lot. Um, so for it as well, just like uh, the small remnants that I showed you earlier, you'd use it the same. So you'd put nuts, you'd put olives, you'd put dried fruit, whatever you want to serve in it. So I love that you just take it as it is, even if it's just um, a snack table. So you just put it there, it's got all those different things and you just put like napkins or side plates next to it where a person can just pick up, put on their napkin and that's it. I got this one as a gift and I think it was from Boardman's. And then we move over to the dinner table. I'll be showing you just stuff that uh, I use when I lay out my dinner table. Let's say if I cook stew or I've made um, vegetables, sides, whatever that uh, I'll be serving on that day. So I have this little one that I love. This was not a set, however they look alike, but if you notice the colors are not really all the same whites. So I love these, but next time I just want to get a plain one without a rim because these will be evident when I use them again, but still the whiteness makes them still look fresh. So I love these, I like to use it for uh, sides. So sometimes what I do is um, put foil in the middle and then just cling it up in the middle so I can have two different sides going in one. So I like these because they also like microwave safe, dishwasher safe, oven safe, so you can cook your roast or anything still in them. So with this one, I'll do my rice or I'll do couscous or whatever I'll be serving that I'll put in there. Or let's say if I'm doing um, mixed vegetables where I did a roast veg, I'll serve the roast veg in that. So I love the size as well. I love the plain whiteness of it. You just put it on the table, you are done. And it's the big mama where I serve my stew, my grills. Uh, if I'm doing like Mshambi Easter, you know Easter is your peg in my weight. So whatever that is meat, I'll serve in this one here. I love, 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 love this set. It has changed my life. It makes it so easy. If I pop it on the table, it just brings everything to life. And sometimes I, you don't, you know how to accessorize your dishes. It's just by buying nice cutlery. Like I got these from Mr. Price. Oh, these as well. I got at Mr. Price home. I got these at Mr. Price home. So let's say you have this plain, uh, plain white of yours and you just pop this gold on it. Look at how amazing that looks. So especially if you're still starting out, I would advise that you get all white casserole dishes. Um, so it's easy to just set it up on your table. And um, as I said previously, the reputation of you worried when friends are coming, they're thinking that you're using the same stuff over and over again. Well, I use the same stuff over and over and again, but you'll never tell because of how I accessorize it. So I accessorize with my spoons, like I have the gold one here. And then sometimes I'll get the ones with the beading, traditional beads and all of that to use. And girls, we neglect so much buying serving dishes. It is utterly important to buy serving dishes from your house and you can get it from Mr. Price. As I said, this set I got from Mr. Price home. You can get these from Mr. Price home just to make your dinner table nice. I know you go to the pot which I can't go wrong but sometimes just give your kitchen or your house a bit of a room by doing adding all of those little things, you know like serving dishes. And then I've got ordinary serving spoons with neglect serving spoons as well. I've got my day-to-day -day serving spoons. These, I think I've got at Checkers. I'm not sure, I think I've got these at Checkers. So um, I have about three of these and I have two of these that I'll use day-to-day -day in the house. So I don't use my own spoons when uh, dishing up for guests or if I'm dishing up for just me and my husband at home. Same can be said with uh, these. It's a salad one, but for a smaller salad. Let's say I'm just doing a serving for, um, I've got a lot of things on my table, so I don't want people to scoop up a lot because this one gives you a bigger scoop. Then this one. Okay. 
Cutlery, girls. Cutlery is of utter, utter importance. I've got my day-to-day -day cutlery that I use in the house that um, I can use whenever I'm alone with me and my husband or whatever. And then I've got my cutlery for visitors. Yeah, I'm one of those people where I keep my cute little things so when I have guests I'm able to just bring them out and entertain my visitors so I love 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 these if you look at them they're like a spoon upside down so it's like a different design I think it's a set of four where it's a spoon fork uh, knife and teaspoon and I think I've got six or eight uh, of them um, I love 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 these so every time like I'm so protective of them every time if we use them I wash them immediately and put them back in the box I think I also got this from these from Mr. Price home and then we move over to my dessert station I love 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 desserts love a dessert station i do a killer dessert station if i can say so myself <laughs> Woo! okay um okay so for dessert station i have a lot of things but i'll show you just the basics that will always be on my dessert station i love candy jars this i got from home etc I think a while back, I must have had it for four years or so now. Um, it's a candy jar, basically. Candy jars, sometimes I put sweets in it, sometimes I put cookies, whatever I'll be serving on that day, I'll put it here. Sometimes you can also do something like a trifle in it and then just have a scooper spoon. So you must be creative, basically. Just learn to be creative and do whatever you have in your kitchen, do what you want with it. My cupcake stand, I love cupcake stands. Cupcake stands are so versatile. They're the most versatile thing you can ever have in your kitchen. You can use it for appetizers, desserts, or serving a, a main course. I use this for anything in my kitchen. So for desserts, pop muffins on there, even a cheese platter, I still do here. Before I had my cheese board and uh, those other white platters, I had this one a long time ago. So I'll just uh, pop maybe cheese on top, and at the bottom I'd have crackers and my preserves or anything that I want to have. I think I got this a while back at, from at home, yeah love it and then I have this cake stand I love cake stands I can't think a cake stand is something every home should have but if you don't have one that's no stress and I got this so affordable I think I got this from checkers I got it for 140 or something I got it a while back but I've just been there recently and I saw that they still have it so I sometimes use this as a fruit basket as well sorry as a fruit fruit platter if you call it that in my kitchen so I'd have it like on top of my kitchen counter like this and I'll have a different uh, fruits like bananas grapes uh, oh the last time where I had that uh, party with the girls I did use this I think you saw it where I had my fruits on it so I love these I think anyone can uh, have these as you've seen so far all my things are just clear or white. Why? Because I'm still collecting. Okay. My absolute faves. Absolute faves. I got this and it was the last two. I wanted more than these when I saw them. They were all on sale um, at the time when I got them. They were like 50% off and I jumped at them. I also got them from home, etc. Um, I love these. I can use them as anything. I sometimes, I love when doing a dessert or an appetizer, uh, an appetizer table. I love having heights, like having um, where things are not just one surface and level. Just love having a bit of height. So sometimes I do use this for that. So where I'll have maybe canapes on top. So it's desserts already. So I'd have like maybe a malva pudding and I'll put custard on top and I'll just use it as a stand. Or sometimes I'll use it on its own where I have a banana loaf I'll cut it out and uh, just put the banana loaf there and then on the next one I'll then put uh, the ramekins that you saw earlier then I'll put them on there where I have the different uh, preserves or spreads that I'll be using to butter up my loaf basically I love these I use them 
on my own uh, appetizers I use them in my desserts I use them in my mains as well sometimes you know sometimes you have um, chicken drumsticks where I just put on there and then I serve love lovely of these and they bring such elegance such class to my dinner table and it's just a pop so even if I have my whites and I just have this in the let's say I have my whites in the middle and then I just throw in a pop of that look at that beautiful and I think I showed you these already I've got about six or eight of these it's something like a whiskey glass but it's not because it's much smaller it's for desserts so I'll pop in as I said maybe uh, a malva pudding sponge with custard on top or sometimes if I do a breakfast with the girls I'll do like muesli and um, yogurt on top and then I'll just pop in some teaspoons in there love these just something to brighten up and change what you do in your kitchen drink station I'll be showing you my jugs my glasses and just all those things that I have on my dinner table when entertaining and I also use on my counter guys if you don't have a dinner table oh my la e counter don't sleep on your counter counter works magic works perfectly you can sit up on your counter people can stand around or sit around whatever okay so a water jug love water jugs never neglect a good water jug tupperware uh, bottles that we put water with uh, on the uh, in the fridge do not deserve to come on your dinner table guys so that tupperware must keep the water cold in the fridge when done pour it in your jug serve the people so i love infused water as well you'll see a lot of infused water in my videos coming up next where i'll just do pomegranates cucumber uh, orange slices mint uh, whatever and i just put ice and i put water and i have it on my counter i also do this a lot now that we started gym with my husband so i just do those waters and i put it i do the jack in the morning and i put it on the counter so throughout the day you can just have water especially on weekends so a good jug is nice and just try and get a nice design this is not the nicest design but something made me love this it was just so interesting for me it looked like the old jugs that we used to have at home but they brought like a new design to it i got this at mr price home i took a video at uh woolworths i will sh upload it maybe with these uh or you'll see it on my instagram i think i love the jugs that they have going on now they've got about three designs with a tall one and um, a big roundish one but you'll see it so I've got this one at mr. price home I love this and then we have a juice to and um, sometimes you set up breakfast uh, for friends in the morning and you're just doing something or for family let's not just say friends for family as well guys so I set up for my sisters my in-laws or whoever comes and visits my house my mom my dad whoever comes and visits so this year i'll use uh, for juice sometimes i make my own mixes of juice where i get um what you call the sparkling water and then i pour passion fruit and I put a bunch of fruits and that's it or if you're having a champagne uh, breakfast with the girls you have the champagne on the side and then you pour your orange juice in here just for presentation some it, but if you don't have it it's no big deal you can always just rock your um pour it over into a jug or just have it uh, in the cartoon but just how you place it is what will make it nice so I love love this I also got this from mr. price home yeah I love this okay and then I've got wine decanter I'm no wine connoisseur but I know that this year red wine you have to let it breathe so um, this year and it's just a lovely also statement if you are serving wine but I love wine bottles wine bottles are no headache on the table so you can always leave it as that but if you are able to invest in one go for it I think this just brings your presentation to a hundred like you've got your wine decanter and then you've got your glasses going on there you know it's, it just does something even if you don't have a lot and then you have let's say the, that small white platter that I had and then you've got nuts or something on it that is done okay so I got this at mr. price home um, I love it I don't use it that much but um, I love having it so that whenever somebody needs it I can just bring it out because you never know sometimes guys you have those visitors that 
you know know so much about wine and all of that so just to have this out yeah and my sister said i must add <laughs> She's behind the camera, so I'm saying this. She's laughing. My sister said, I was at that. No, yes, it's in the cuff, cuff. Go, booty, guys. Atu booty uh, is coming to visit you, and then when uh, you bring out <laughs> Tupperware. Uh, <laughs> you bring out Tupperware, and you put it on the table. I'm saying exactly how she said it. Instead of pouring it over into a jug and then giving her uput, uput will say, no, I'm never coming back to, <laughs> to this house again. So just those little things, you know, just to make you cute. <laughs> okay, and then uh, I love these. These I bring out on date night and when I have a few friends that I know that they won't get out of hand because when one breaks I die. I love them so much. These I got at Carol Boys. I love them. I just love the design. They're just easy to to use as well. Yeah. But my absolute favorite has to be these babies right here. I love 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 stemless. Stemless is the end thing guys. Stemless champagne, but I think we are gonna go back to the stem very soon. But I think while it's in, let's enjoy it. Stemless uh, champagne glasses, stemless wine glasses is currently the in thing. So I've got them in wine, you saw them the last time. So I serve it as a white and red wine. I also make it uh, as a water glass, it's so easy to use. So if you're starting up and you don't know what to get fully in your kitchen, this here is good. You can do water in it, you can do wine, you can do, um, as I said, you know why I'm, I've paused? Because I've noticed that I'm looking at my sister instead of looking at the camera. It's going to take some getting used to, guys. So you can do anything in them, okay? So if you're starting up and you're looking for a glass in your kitchen, I think go for this. It will serve all your needs for now. And then I've got an ice bucket. Ice bucket, I've recently invested in one um, and we forget to buy ice buckets guys. Ice buckets are important of importance because sometimes you're just serving people whatever drinks they're having and they want ice and then we end up bringing out that Tupperware or we end up bringing a, a casserole dish packed up with ice. So get an ice bucket, you can put your champagne, you can put your wines in it and it just brings a lovely presentation to your table. I'm still looking for a clear one. I want a clear one that I can serve the wine or champagne in it. Then this one I'll stay to making it an ice bucket. But meanwhile, I do like put in a champagne. I'll make maybe just... Let's say, let's pretend this was wine or champagne. <laughs> and then you have your ice around it. So yeah. And then those little accessories that people forget, guys. A wine opener. Wine opener. I got. I recently got this one from Boardmates because I had this one for the longest one for, for the longest time, which is the automatic one. Sorry, not automatic, which is manual or automatic. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, the one you screw yourself and then make it hold the bottle and then you pop it out. So I, then I was going. This is the only one they had. I actually wanted the black one that big black one i think i'll go back again to look for it i want that big big old black one but anyway this one works perfectly i enjoy it i got it from boardman's not forgetting wine stoppers guys you know if you serve your wine and then you're done drinking it for the day and you just want to close it up again oop, your wine stopper in the opening i got these from mr price home i also my sister just recently told me about ones that she got from crazy store which you put it into the bottle and then you clamp it on so i'm going to go and look for those i still need champagne ones as well i don't have the champagne one the champagne one is the one that's much bigger the one that opens on the sides and you put it in and then it locks on the champagne bottle's mouth so i'll go out and get that too yeah guys um oh no before i say yeah it's really done guys a good vase is always needed a vase just for flowers or anything in the house when entertaining because when i entertain i like to pop a centerpiece in there so i use these two this is what i have currently for vases in the house this was also a, a candy jar so i just started using it as a vase that's why i'm saying just multi-use the things that you have in the house as well don't give yourself a headache and want to buy so many things so a good basic vase for flowers 
in the house is always a hint you never know when that booty will knock and bring you a bunch of flowers né? and then now when are you putting flowers in the sink you don't know what to do no girl get yourself a box okay and then guys we move over to hot beverages for hot beverages, I just want to show you my sugar basin. I think that uh, we forget to have a sugar basin. You know you have that big one that you pour in, you buy your sugar and then you pour it in that container that's written sugar, that clear one. That clear one, for me, it stays in the cupboard and then I have a sugar basin that I pour over onto. So if I'm serving and I'm taking it to people, then it would be in my sugar basin. I've got this a while back, I think, from Mr. Price Home. And then a good teaspoon set that you'd have. Mine is with the set that I showed you earlier on that I would use for all my teas. A basic, basic white um, cup uh, and saucer set is a must. This is from Mr. Price Home. It comes in a set, it comes with a sugar base, and it comes with uh, the cup saucer and I think a milk jar as well, or you can buy them separate as well. This is a must, ladies. So sometimes if you don't have a coffee mug, if you don't want a headache, just serve them with this as well. That's it. And then I've got my tea box. I love this tea box. I got it as a gift um, when I was getting married. So tea box, uh, I just put all my teas in there. So I'll label them and I refresh these labels if I no longer have the same teas. Like this one I took out because I don't think it's that tea that's in it anymore. So this is nice just to pop it uh, uh, on your table instead of bringing out that entire um, boxes. Yeah, my five rows is all boss. You won't get land. Instead, we make a tea box. Yeah, I want to buy some like nandi. It definitely yeah. Then I have this jar as well that I'll put my rice in my. Uh, uh, biscuits or whatever I'll be having together my tea station so I set it up so nicely so maybe I'll have this in the middle and then I'll have my tea cups on the side I'll have my sugar and milk jar and my tea box on the side and then you know whoever then brings whatever you know people bring stuff when they come over if they have cupcakes I take out my white platters and I put them out there and I make it you know sometimes you don't want to cook and you don't want to do a lot of things when people are having over like we like to have prayer on Fridays at our house so when we have prayer on Fridays I just do a tea station and some of our home cell members will bring uh, muffins and all of that then i put out the platters that they have and then it's a huge thing that looks so pretty on the table so i think next friday when we have one i'll just take a picture for you guys to see okay yeah guys that's it and thank you so much for watching this video today if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends invite them to our world and uh, thank you so much for watching guys Mwah.